There are people that you have on staff that are so darn good that if you lose them, that's a real problem for the business. Yeah. How do you identify them? And what are the different things you have to think about to keep them happy, to keep them retained? Now, identifying them, I don't really see that problem as big as the retention problem. At any given moment, a FANG company could come along and just poach some of your best people with a dump truck of money. Totems and awards and incentives, uh, these are small things that help bring your staff closer to your brand. I talked about branding teams internally. I've had one in the past called Shadow Labs. I still have employees to this day that have a Shadow Labs tattoo on their arm. That is some okay. serious commitment. So one of the things I did in my talk was I asked a room full of like the world's most powerful CISOs. I said, how many of you in your career have gotten an award from your employer? More than 80% of them raise their hands. Keep your hands up. If you still have that reward somewhere in your house sitting out displayed, 95% of them kept their hands raised. They're really important to people when you recognize that value. People sometimes leave and still love you as they walk out the door. Yeah, and that's an opportunity to get them back. They'll go to a fang and just be like, Oh boy, this sucks. The other things I talk about are human-centric management. I should never be using my one-on-one -on -one with you to be talking about work projects, honestly. I should be investing in you as a human. That's how you create deep, sticky, meaningful relationships with your employees. Is there a more directed question to ask than how's it going? I have a list of questions, you know, like how was your last vacation? How's your family doing? How's school going for your kids? Actively listen. That's a skill set a manager needs to have, and that's why you need to hire excellent managers.